Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys about randomization. Now, this is a hidden game maker gem. This is a series brought to you in part by myself and also you Heartbeast over on YouTube. Don't forget to check out his channel, fantastic guy. Um, lots of great tutorials, so if you're looking for extra content and you're not sure where to go, go there. So anyway, today I'm gonna to teach you guys about uh, randomization. So the first thing that you want to know about randomization, well, there's two ways of doing it. Most people only know the random function, where you basically specify a random number and you say you want it to be between zero and one, or zero and five, zero and 10, whatever that number may be. What you'll note by using this random function is the number comes back as a, uh, a floating point number between zero and one. And that basically means, or whatever, very whatever number you whatever number you set. What that basically means is it, is it includes decimal points. So the number can be zero point zero zero one. It could be zero point five nine three. It could be some. It could be any number between zero and one. Now, if you wanted that number to be a zero or a one, you would use a function called iRandom. And what that basically means is uh, it's casting the value that comes back to an integer. So you're going to get a zero or a one. Now I'm gonna demonstrate both of these methods right now by using the show debug message feature. And I'm just gonna convert that number into a string and I'm gonna say random. It's gonna be a number between zero and one. Now if I do the exact same thing, but this time I use the iRandom function, what you should see when we run this is two numbers come out. One will be a random number between zero and one and the other will be a random number between zero and one, but it will be an integer. So it'll be a one or a zero. So let's run the project and have a look what we get. So what you'll see as soon as I ran the game, we have a 0 0.16, which was the random number uh, between zero and one as a floating point. And we also have the, or as a decimal, and we have the integer based random number, which was a, uh, a zero or a one. Now the problem that you're going to find with this is that every time we run the game, we're gonna get the exact same number. So I'm gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. All I meant to do was stop the project and we'll run it again. And what you'll notice is that our random number isn't random. So there you go, we have a slight bug. You might be thinking to yourself, what's going on here? I just asked for a random number between zero and one and I got the same number twice. Well, basically what happens is every time you turn your computer on, every time you start your computer, you your computer basically sets a, a, a seed and that's gonna be the number that uh, all your random numbers are calculated from every single time that the random number generator fires. So what you need to do is you need to call this function called randomize. Now what randomize does is it actually changes the seed so that when you call the random function, you're getting a different number every time. So if we call randomize before we call random functions, we're gonna get a different result. And basically we're going to get a proper random number here. So have a look at this. So now you'll see we've got 0 0.24 and the number one. If I run that again, we should get a completely different series of numbers. Uh, 0 0.46 and one. You might notice that we're only getting one for this I random. That's probably because I'm getting a number between zero and one and it's always come back as one. So if I set this to 10, set this to 10 as well, you'll see that we have a, a larger variety to choose from. There we go. So we've got 9.11 and five. I can run that again, just to show you guys what's happening. We've got 4. Uh, 4.64 and 8. So just to demonstrate that one more time, I'm going to get rid of the randomized function. I'm going to run the project again. We'll take note of the numbers that come back. 1.55 and 8. And if we run that project one more time, we should see 1.55 and 8. 1.55 and 8. So hopefully that clarifies um, how the randomized function works inside of GameMaker. And also this isn't just GameMaker. This is any programming language you will ever encounter, um, mostly. Uh, so yeah, randomization. Make sure you always randomize your random because random is not random. That could be a song. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to check out You Heart Beast over on YouTube. He has tons of great content out there. Uh, yeah, that's all. Cheers. Bye.